From the IHLS studios in Tel Aviv, this is Homeland Security Weekly Report. Welcome to the Homeland Security Weekly Report. Israeli researchers are developing a device that may allow future submarines to observe events in the surface without using periscopes. The device, called the Stella Maris, includes a special sensor that corrects image distortions. The same solution is also used by astronomers. The system has already been tested successfully, although it is still under development at the Israeli Technion. U.S. military researchers have launched the CODE program, a project designed to enhance the capabilities of drones and allow them to function as a team. The project's goal is to send drone teams out on missions, each with its own unique system, while allowing all of them to make full use of each other's capabilities. This way, the drones in the field will be capable of overcoming frequency jamming by assisting each other. For example, one drone can guide its less capable teammate in a hostile environment. New developments in the investigation of the vanished Malaysian Airlines flight MH370. According to recent reports, a number of suspects have been arrested in Kuala Lumpur. All are members of Al-Qaeda. While some admitted to the planning of terror attacks in Arab countries, they still deny any involvement in the recent affair. This announcement may signify Al-Qaeda's renewed interest in terror attacks against global aviation. Ten years from now, we may see one human controlling dozens of autonomous robots instead of what we see today, teams of human operators controlling one robot. This, according to Noah Agmon Robotics researchers at Bar Ilan University. These robotics teams, added Agmon, will have their own ranks. Smarter ones will oversee simpler robots, with us humans mostly issuing orders instead of actually controlling their actions. The digital currency Bitcoin has seen a massive rise in popularity over the last few years attracting its share of criminals and thieves, according to the recent cybersecurity reports. In 2013, we saw a spike in Bitcoin-related crimes, mostly hackers stealing unencrypted electronic wallet files. Another common method of attack is installing malicious code on computers, making them mine Bitcoin without the owners realizing it and stealing the currency later. Thank you for watching our weekly report. See you at the same time, same place next week. And for further information, click the link below.